guys, Mark from Copy the Class. Can we do a quick video for you guys now on how to change the HTC up and make it look like it is running stock Android? Now, obviously, the HTC, when you get it out of the box, it is going to be running HTC's own version of Android, which is called Sense. It's going to be running the latest version, which is Sense 5. Now, it does bring a lot of cool new features, for instance, things like a blink feed, the app drawer looks completely different, the way you get to your widgets and everything looks completely different as well. But a lot of people are saying that they don't necessarily like this new look and feel and do prefer the kind of stock Android experience that you get on something like the Nexus 4 for instance. So what we're going to be doing today is just guiding you through how you can change up your HTC to look as though it's running stock Android. So let's get into it now. Okay guys, now first thing you want to be doing um, is kind of forgetting about what you've already done on the phone. Um, obviously this is my girlfriend's HTC One. She has customised it how she wants it to look in terms of where the app icons are, where she's got the widgets, etc. But that's all going to go out the window once we install Nova Launcher. Now Nova Launcher is the software or the app that we're going to be using to change up the look and feel of the HTC One. So first thing you want to do then head over to the Play Store and then download Nova Launcher. Now there is a free version or there is a prime version which does cost. Now I'm going to be going for the prime version because I've already purchased it just for this video purpose. What you want to then do is then click on install. Now what it's going to do, it's going to download the app like any other app and install the application onto the actual device itself. And if I go back to the home screen, go to a uh, page where I've got some space, it's going to be there. And this is what the app icon is going to look like guys. So it's just going to say Nova Launcher, it's going to become like a red and blue icon. Obviously it's going to be on your home screen, if you haven't got any home screen it will obviously be in the app drawer. What you want to then do is just click on Nova Launcher. It's then going to ask you to get Nova Launcher, because this is just basically a, a portal or like a window to actually get in the application itself. So what you want to do is you want to click on Play Store, because you can't get it from these. You want to click on Play Store, click on Just Once for the meantime. It's going to take you back into the Play Store to then actually get Nova Launcher. Now it's interesting how they've done this, because you can't actually access this page without first downloading the first bit. So that's a bit interesting. What you want to do is then click on install. You want to then click accept for obviously the terms and conditions of the actual application itself. And then obviously it's just going to download the app to the phone and then obviously we'll go from there once that is all done. Now what it's going to do, it's going to be all done now. So that's perfectly fine. It's installed. It says open, uninstall, so that's fine. Now when you're then going to click on the home button, you're going to come up against this screen which you may or may have not have seen before if you have or haven't used any other launchers. Now HTC Sense is obviously Android as HTC interpreted it to be on the phone. Nova Launcher is how we're going to make the phone look and feel like a stock Android. So you want to click on Nova Launcher and because we're going to be using this long term, instead of clicking the Just Once button and this coming up every time you click the home screen, you want to click on Always so that it's always going to be there if that makes sense. So. That's pretty much it, that's, uh, that's all everything done now. What you want to then do is just get rid of the kind of icons that are already pre-laid out on the screen in terms of, uh, you know, there's some folders on here as well. Some apps that it thinks you may want to have a look at as well, but we're not going to need them. So just get rid of all these applications real quick off the home screen. And also in terms of the actual dock itself, again, there's some on the dock that, again, you're not necessarily going to need either. Things like the voice dictation or the... Uh, Voice search, get rid of that. Internet, get rid of that. People. And last but not least, the multitasking as well. So now basically we have basically stock Android running on the device. So you can see it now. Obviously you've got the uh, app, draw application kind of button just down here. Um, and also once you go into it, you're going to see that the actual icons themselves still look like for instance the HTC icons that originally came with the actual phone. So what you want to do is you want to go into the Nova settings which you can get to a couple of different ways. Um, you can double tap on the actual home screen itself or you can go into it through the app launcher like I just said. Now here it's going to say previous launcher so some open applications on the phone are going to be ones that have been opened on the HTC launcher so what it's going to ask us to do is just get rid of those for the meantime so that we're basically starting from scratch. Now what you want to do, you want to go into look and feel and then you want to go down to where it says the icon theme which is the second one down and then you want to click on stock jelly bean. Once you click on there that's it. everything's done. Once you now go back into your app drawer, 
all your applications have now changed to the stock jelly bean icons now some of them aren't going to look too different but things like the uh, the telephone that's going to look different as well the messaging application as well that's going to look different so all those kind of things that you get from stock android are now going to be on your HTC one which is really nice now so in terms of the app drawer as well you may want to change up with the app drawer which again really easy to do just double tap on the home screen to get into the settings and obviously what we want to do you want to go into draw and again you can change a lot of things here so you can change the grid size for the apps so at the moment it's five by four in terms of you know you get five rows and you get like four columns etc so if we want to change this up now so to have say six by five click ok scroll effect we want it to just be card stack that's perfectly fine background transparency so do you want to see any of your wallpaper when you're in the app drawer we'll put that to about 50 percent draw style i personally prefer it in terms of vertical so you can just scroll through the apps like that basically so if we go back to the home screen now then click on the app drawer you're going to see it is radically different um like i say really easy really simple to do obviously you can see the wallpaper coming through about 50 percent and obviously the scroll is now up instead of across that way obviously widgets works the same going up and down as well so very nice there so what i'm going to do i'm just going to have a quick play around with the phone to customize it how i like um, and i'll be back in just a minute to show you just a couple more things that you can do to get it looking like stock android okay guys so this is what i've done to the uh hdc one running now like i say nova launch looking like stock android so, so i've got my most used apps down the bottom here also I've got the uh, weather application, I've got my clock widget um, and my batch of widget as well. Now there's the one thing that you will need to do to also make it look a lot more like stock Android is sort out the lock screen because the lock screen is still going to look like HTC which again is a good lock screen, you can still go through different applications that you need and things but it's not going to kind of look as though it's running stock Android and that's kind of the illusion that we want to give here. So again what you want to do, you want to go into the Play Store And you want to download something which is called Hollow Locker. Now, again, with this, there's also going to be a paid for version and a free version. But again, we're going to be working here with the free version. Again, you just want to click on install, accept. And then it's going to install this software onto the phone again. And it's just going to basically change up the look and feel of the device, a bit like Nova Launcher has done, but it's going to be doing it slightly different. So, again, if we click on Hollow Locker, you want to enable holo locker you don't necessarily want security lock obviously general settings just going to be things like emergency unlock home key etc vibrating when it kind of unlocks and things obviously the appearance you can change that as well the text color you can hide the status bar you can do all these sorts of things here you can change the wallpaper and so on which you will need the plus version to do so for instance for unread count settings you would need the plus version to do that and just for some more customization so hopefully now if we lock and unlock the screen you're now going to see that it is back to stock address. So again, we've got this little bit here. You can slide up to go to Google now, across there to the camera. And then this way to actually unlock the phone, just sliding off to the right-hand side. So that's pretty much it, guys. Like I say, this is the HTC One now looking as though it's running stock Android, which obviously it's not. Now, like I say, to do other certain things, like change the actual settings, because obviously the settings, when you go into them, they are going to look as though they're just on the HTC One. You would need to actually root your device to change things like that. But just for general look and feel, I think we've done a pretty good job here um, so like I said I'm Michael from Copy of the Glass this has been a quick how to on how to get your HTC One looking like it's running stock Android and I'll catch you guys in the next video